Nux server components are a new experimental feature that allow us to build server-only components. This can help us improve performance and reduce bundle sizes. You might be asking, is the Nux already server-side rendered? It is, but Nux server components are different. To understand this better, let's first look at how typical Nux components work with SSR. When a request hits your Nux app, the server runs your JavaScript, generates the HTML, and sends it to the client. Since your app is server-side rendered, this initial HTML is already populated with data, which is what gives SSR the performance and SEO benefits that it's known for. Then, the client takes over and downloads and runs JavaScript of its own to make the page interactive. This process is called hydration. This step is one of the hottest topics in web dev right now because everyone's trying to figure out how to ship less JavaScript to the browser. This means that the browser will have less to download and run and your time to interactive will be faster. Nux server components can help us with this by letting us build components that don't ship any JavaScript to the browser. Let's look at an example. Let's say we have a regular Nux component that uses Markdown it to render a Markdown string as HTML. On our initial request, this component component will run on the server to generate the HTML, the HTML will be sent to the client, and then the client will download and run more JavaScript during hydration. This means that not only will our client need to download our component's JavaScript, but it will also need to download Markdown it and any other dependencies. If we're running our app in dev mode, we can go to the Network tab and see requests for both of these. A better way to look at this is to run npx nuxy analyze. This allows us to analyze our bundle, and we can see that a lot of our client bundle size is coming from Markdown it. And this is a lot considering that we're just using this to generate static content and we don't need it for any interaction. But what if there was a way to remove our Markdown component and its dependencies from our client bundle? And this is where Nux server components come in. But before we implement it, I want to say thanks to the sponsor of this video, Storyblock. Storyblock is a headless CMS that I just love working with. Even though its API works with any tech stack, I've made a few videos on using it in both Nux3 and Astro, and I love how plugged in they are with the Vue community, creating Vue plugins, Nux plugins, and a ton of things that make it really easy to build Vue components and then directly build and edit pages with these components inside of a really sleek visual editor. This makes it so non-technical people can use your custom components really simply. It's super extensible and a great experience both on the technical side and the content side, so I highly recommend checking them out and show them some love for supporting the channel. Okay, let's get back to the video. First, we have to opt into this experimental feature in our Nux config by setting experimental component islands to true. Then all we have to do is change a markdown component.view to markdown component.server.view to tell Nux that this is a server component. Now, if you look at our app, it looks the same because the HTML is still being generated server side and Nux manages all of these styles. But if we go to our dev tools, we no longer have requests for our server only component and its dependencies. And if we run npx nuxy analyze again, we can see that our client bundle doesn't have that markdown it section anymore, reducing the bundle size by a lot. So now that we've seen a simple example of how Nux server components work, let's see what happens with the reactive data. Let's say we wanted to add a counter to our component using ref from Vue 3. If we look at our app and click our button, nothing happens. And this is because our client doesn't have any of the components JavaScript. So our browser has no concept of count and doesn't listen for the event listener on our button. While this means server components can't manage state in this way, they can accept props. So if we moved our counter logic to some parent component and passed a count prop to our markdown component, we could use that prop to render our HTML. Now, if we click our button, we can see that our count is count paragraph that's being rendered by our server component is updating. And if we look at our network tab, we can see that every time we click our button, a new request is being made to get our updated HTML. So with server components, whenever props change, we send a request to the server to re-render our component with the updated props and send the HTML back to the client. And then Nux uses this to update our HTML. I still think server components are best used for components that don't need to be interactive or don't update much, but if you need this kind of behavior, this is one way to do it. One thing to know is that Nux server components are still pretty early in the development and experimental. So there's some limitations and features that aren't implemented yet. First, probably the biggest one is that they must be synchronous. Right now, if you have an async server component, this causes a hydration mismatch. Second, server components don't support slots yet. Third, from what I've tested so far, if you have a server component, you can't have a client component with interaction inside of it. I've seen diagrams from React and Next implementation of server components, which shows how you can interweave types of components, but I haven't managed to get this working in Nuxt. I don't know too much about it, but if you know anything, please let me know in the comments. And then the fourth thing is a really cool possible future feature that I've seen on Nuxt GitHub issues. And and that's the ability to use remote sources for server components. This will allow you to expose an endpoint that multiple apps can use as a server component. I think there's a ton of possibility for this, so I'll keep an eye on it and make follow-up content as it develops. So despite being in its early stages, there's some really cool things that Nux server components can do. This is something I wanted to get on your radar so you can start experimenting with it and see if it's something that can help you reduce your bundle size and your projects. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.